right, this is a Workhouse TS10 in the lowest mode, like one lumen. And I'm shining the, at the wall over there, and you can't really see it. I'm gonna, It's in ramp mode, so I'm just going to ramp it up. And that's the highest. That's the highest ramp, but that's not turbo. And as you can see, it's a mostly flood type of light. All right, let's go to turbo. And yeah, it really lights up the area on turbo. No centralized spot. It is getting warm throughout the whole flashlight right up here in turbo. So I'm going to kick it back down to normal. And then ramp it down. It looks like it's off, but it's not. And this is good enough for a close-up. You know, for looking at your hand, or reading instructions. And then uh, you can get it brighter. I don't really use turbo that much. I will go up to the high mode sometimes when I want to see stuff. But I really don't use turbo that much. All right, this is a Sofran S10 Pro, and it's moonlight mode, low. Again, you really can't see much. Visually, I can see it uh, shining a little bit off. My eyes can adjust a little bit better than this uh, camera can right now, but I can make out faint stuff. All right, you can see it's it's a single emitter, but it does a nice job with spreading that flood out. This is in the high mode, but not turbo. And there's turbo. Really nice. Probably carries further. This is, you know, inside the room. I think it's like about eight feet away from the wall. I'll check it later on. All right. This is the pokey light. In its low mode, ace beam pokey lit. That's its medium, which I use most of the time. Nice floody, you know, type of spot. And then that's high, which I don't use a lot. It doesn't stay in this high mode for very long, but it's very, very bright. So again, there's your low medium, and high. And you can hear it's a positive click on that tail switch. All right, this is not really in the same category. This is the uh, Olight i3T with a 14, a 10, 440. I think I got it right. Anyway, the 3.7 volt. That's low, and that's high. That's why I say this light is size to lumen ratio. It's really hard to beat an O light. Um, they're not bad with their regular. Um, let's see if I got another one over here. I think this one just has alkaline in it. All right, so there's the low on the left with the regular alkaline 1.5 volt, and here's the low on the right. As you can see, I just switch beams back and forth. All right. High with the alkaline. High with the 10440. So we'll turn. That's the regular alkaline. And this is the 10440. There's a big difference. All right, I'm a little bit closer. The door, we've got the uh, thing on low, low, one lumen. We'll bring it up. You can see how the pattern, it does a good job of flooding. There's no real spot unless you get real close. And then it, the rest of it's pretty much all spill. You can't really see I'm rotating it around any predominant 
you know, like you can't see three emitters, basically. That's a pretty good job. Right, this is SB10 Pro on low. Here's the, the little um, flickering lights from the TS10. All right, SB10 Pro on low. Ramp it up. That's the max right there. That's also the turbo. As you can see, it's a, another kind of, it has a, a little bit of a center spot there in the higher lumens. <clears throat> now I have the ace beam pokey lit on low. As you can see, it's a, a higher lumen low than the other glass light medium you've got like a central beam and a little bit of spill going on and then high again pretty bright all of these have are good flashlights all right the i3t in low this is the one with the regular alkaline in it and high so again a pretty good beam pattern and everything now if you want to soup it up even though it's not recommended and authorized and all those stuff you can throw in a 3.7 and then you get that for a low which is giving you a little bit more lumens and that for a high, which is giving you a lot more lumens. I think it's like regularly 180 on high with a 1.5, and with this, you're getting close to 500 or so lumens. I don't have a meter, but I watch other channels where they measure it. Well, yeah, pretty impressive. All right, I'd just like to say of the three playing around in the dark, the easiest one to find and operate. It's the TS-10 because of these uh, display lights that I've got here. Let me turn it on to low. This is them on low. You really, all you can really do is find the light with this. You really can't, uh, you know, illuminate anything. This is it on high. This, if you got it close enough. You might be able to make out something, but with this color, orange and everything, it's barely usable as navigating. You're better off going on uh, with the low lumen light mode if you want to navigate and see things. But it comes in very handy for, like I said, finding your flashlight. If you drop it or if you're doing anything in the dark, you can find it. And because it's tail switch operated, that SP10 Pro, I'm telling you, I had a hard time finding the button to turn it on. So that's all I want to say about that. I think uh, every light has its advantage and disadvantages and stuff. And you just have to determine for yourself which one you like the most. For indoor and everything, I like this little TS10 Um if I was going to do an indoor outdoor thing, like I said, right now it's raining and it's cold. And I really can't do an outdoor beam shot comparison thing. So just, this is just the indoor one. But I'll, I'll get around to it. I'll, do, I'll take all these out and do the same thing outside. I might not say anything on the video because uh, I don't want the dogs to start barking and stuff. But uh, anyway, yeah, there you go. So thank you for watching all this and have a nice day.